My name is Dr. Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is on exponential growth. I will introduce and explain what exponential growth is and I will demonstrate two examples of exponential growth using savings and the chessboard example. Video 2 should be looked at for exponential function. What you know. To help you understand exponential growth, it would help to review some information on linear growth, growth to the power, formulas and equations. Here we see linear growth, something that grows by the same amount at each interval. Growth to the power, something that grows to a set power at each interval. Exponential growth is shown as the green line. Formula, a concise way of expressing information symbolically. Equations, an equation is a statement that states the equality of two expressions. What is exponential growth? This is what this video is going to discuss today. And we'll see examples of how it is used in savings, a chessboard example, and later you can look at video two on exponential function. Exponential growth is growth that increases by a constant proportion. It is a specific way that a quantity may increase over time. It occurs when an instantaneous rate of change of a quantity with respect to time is proportional to the quantity itself. Exponential growth is described as a function. It is used to explain something that always grows in relation to its current value, such as doubling, trebling, and so on. Let's say I decide to save one cent today. And I plan to save twice the total each day, twice the current amount each day. So on day one, I will save one cent. On day two, it'll be two cent. On day three, four cent. How much will I have saved by the end of the month? By day 14, I'm at 81 euros, 92 cent. But by the end of the month, I've saved a lot more. Let's look at this as a formula. A quantity x depends exponentially on time t if x equals a by b to the power of t. a is the amount you begin with, in our example one cent. b is the rate of growth, in our example twice it doubles. And t is the time this growth goes on for. In our example it was 31 days. So a is one cent, b is two. t is the number of times it occurs. Let's see what our savings would be on day 23. It would have occurred 22 times. So our formula will be x equals 0 0.01 multiplied by 2 to the power of 22. x equals 41,943 euro and 4 cent on day 23 of our savings. Another example 
that is often used is rice on a chessboard. On the first square, one grain of rice is placed. Then its current value is doubled. So two grains of rice on the second square. Its current value is doubled. Four grains of rice on the third square. There are 64 squares on a chessboard. So we'll use a formula. How much rice do you think will be on the last square? Even a guess to the closest billion? Our formula is x equals a by b to the power of t. In this example, a is 1, the amount we start with. b is the rate of growth, 2, it doubles. And t is the number of squares, in this example, 64. So our formula is x equals 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 64. On the last square, there will be 18 quadrillion, 446 quid billion, 744 trillion, 100 billion grains of rice. What you have learned. Exponential growth is growth that increases by a constant proportion. Exponential growth is described as a function. It is used to explain something that always grows in relation to its current value, such as always doubling. A quantity x depends exponentially on time t if x equals a by b to the power of t. a is the amount you begin with. b is the rate of growth. t is the time that this growth will go on for. Exponential growth can be used in mathematics biology, chemistry, and finance. Video 2 will demonstrate examples in these areas.